right, so the first thing we're gonna go ahead and do is uh, generate the remote. Go on vehicle remote, Cadillac. We're gonna go to ATS, smart key, 2014. Okay, we're gonna hit generate next. Generate remote, place it in. All right, after it's generated, we're gonna go to IMO programming. Go to Cadillac. First thing we're gonna do is read the pin code. So read pin code, type 4BCM, start programming. Alright, so read pin code, okay. Alright, it's gonna be the VIN first, download data. So it's gonna take some time, so it's gonna go through everything, read it. So you might see the warning lights turn on, like uh, stability track, ABS, theft. All those warning lights are gonna turn on the dash, but don't worry about it, it's uh, pretty normal. Alright, see as you can see, see stability track, theft, and a few other ones go off. But yeah, like I said, it's just it's normal. It's supposed to happen. Don't worry about that. All right, so now it's reading the password. All right, so the password for this car is going to be three zero one one. All right, write it down. Take a picture, whatever. Just make sure you have that number. It's really important. <coughs> Hit OK. Go back. So now we're going to go into the immobilizer menu back go back okay ATS before 2016 it's 2014 smart keys start programming okay okay we're gonna the next thing we're gonna go is uh, smart keys adding click on that okay make sure the ignition is on yes okay so now we're gonna place the new key into the slot we're programming on that model is on that is on that part right there so just slide it in once it's in hit okay hit yes add another key Okay, so that's the password 3011, correct. Okay, so it's, uh, I fast forward, it's, it's, you're supposed to wait 10 minutes, but, you know, I, you know, I fast forward it, so it's about, it's about ready, so two more seconds. Alright, after that, just follow the next steps. Alright, so now the next thing we're gonna do is click the start button twice for two seconds, each time within five seconds, okay? So just go ahead and do that. Start button. There you go, do it again. Alright, hit OK. Alright, the dash is on. OK. Okay, so the key program successfully good, so say no. No more keys programming. Okay, then click the start button. Hit OK. And hold it. Just follow the steps. Just gonna hold it. Alright. Okay, and I release it. Hit OK. Alright, now wait a few seconds. Okay, so now you're gonna hold the start button until the dash turns on. All right, so after it turns on, then hit OK. It, it turned. I didn't get it on tape, but yeah, it did turn on. Okay, so now it's you know doing its thing. Actually, in immobilizer mode. Please wait. I gotta wait patiently. All right, now you're gonna switch the ignition off. Okay, there you go. Hit OK. Open and close the driver's door. Close it. Hit OK. Okay, now I gotta wait 30 seconds. All right, wait patiently. Ten seconds. Three, two, one. All right, clearing the DTCs. Okay, now we're gonna grab the new, the just program remote, and we're gonna press and hold the lock and lock at the same time for one second. Okay, after that, you should hear like a, the switch go off. Hit OK. All right, hit OK again. 
Okay, and if it's off, just unplug the battery, no big deal. So as you can see, it's been programmed successfully. It locks and locks. Now we're gonna turn on the car. As you can see, the car turned on. No problems. Perfect. So now the next thing is we're gonna cut the blade. So you grab the, disassemble the metal piece. All right, off the plastic. And that's the, they use the old key. So now we're gonna decode it. Hit decode. Continue, all the steps. All right, decoding. So after it decodes, now you put the new blade and we're gonna cut the new blade with the uncut one. Okay, we're gonna do that for both sides. So after both sides get cut, now we're gonna put the pin into the blade with the piece. All right, so I've got the special pliers used for those types of pins. So we place the pin into the plier and then it just pushes it in into the, uh, the metal piece and it holds the blade. Now you save a lot of uh, time with that one. All right, so very carefully pick up the piece. We're gonna put it on. All right, easy as pie, look at that. Presses it right in. Piece of cake, look at that. Beautiful, just beautiful. All right, so that's uh, the end result, what it should look like. I took off the uh, the X4 sticker and put the Cadillac ones. It, it looks more professional, and the customers, you know, they like it way better. Doesn't look like a, some aftermarket. Looks nice, very nice. All right, so now we're gonna test the blade. It locks and unlocks, so it was cut successfully. All right, we're gonna put the cover back on very carefully. Put it back on. All right, and as you can see, it unlocks and locks. Been programmed successfully. There you go, looking nice. Thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe to my channel for more kind. Thank you.